Oh, hi there, it's Craig from TC Helicon. Just doing a little bit of sun tanning on my lower chin there. I find that Perform V really helps that with these lights on here. Uh, in all seriousness, how's it going? Uh, Perform V has been a super big seller for us so far. Uh, we sold literally billions of, millions, we sold a whole bunch of Perform Vs, and along the way, people have been really happy with them, but they've had one really common criticism, and is that the LEDs are actually too bright. You say it's great if you're outside, but if you're inside, they are just flat out too bright. What are we gonna do about it? Well, we got in there, monkeyed around in the firmware a bit, and we were able to set up a thing that will allow you to dim them. Now, of course, there's no menus and things on Perform V, so we had to figure out a button press that would allow you to do that. What we've done is we've used the set button here. So if you press set, it's gonna bring up this LED ring. And then you simply, like you do with all the other controls, use the LED ring, and the control knob in the middle there, to turn the level up and down. You get about half the brightness that you did before, so it should be really good in situations of lower light. We went down as low as we could possibly go within the confines of the actual hardware that's there, so you get a, a nice range of dimming now. The other thing, there's been kind of two criticisms, the other thing that we uh, have done is we've now put in an option that allows you to take the auxiliary input, so that could be music coming in, or a corded instrument, anything like that, something that you're using to guide key and scale for harmony probably, and not have it get mixed and go with the main out. People have asked for that when they're in a more complex setup with a band or something and they might have a monitor mix coming in, and they don't want that to go back out to the speakers uh, to be heard by the audience. So the way that you can do that is a toggle, so it's a, a you know it's, it's either on or off. Hold the headphone button while you're plugging in your aux cable. As you plug it in, holding it down, it will then mute the aux signals to your main outs here. Now that is a one-time thing, so the next time you plug in the aux cable, you're going to have to hold down the headphone button again if you want it to be muted. And the reason we did that is, like I said, we have no menus in this thing, so there was no sort of obvious way for somebody to know whether or not that toggle was happening. I mean, I want somebody to get into a situation where their aux wasn't making any sound and they had no clue what was going on. So if you power cycle the unit or if you plug the aux out and then in again, it is going to reset that parameter and you'll need to do it again. But I uh, think this is going to make a really big change to Perform V. Um, overall, the unit has been very well received and these were the top two things that people said they wanted changed. So we've gone ahead and done it. All right, I'm going back to my tanning booth now. Thank you very much. Have a great day.